Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see how to do coverage analysis for in a formal uh, in formal tool or formal verification. So basically, we have been seeing this particular FSM where in the first lecture we saw how to write embedded assertion if you are a designer and how to write a TB in case if you are a verification engineer. Also, we had seen how to use deadlock live lock issue of a particular FSM when you have and uh, in this lecture we are going to see how to do coverage analysis so basically uh, we will be seeing in this window until now so when you click this plus button here you will be able to see an option called coverage this is called coverage app this app we will not be able to see anything if we don't have two particular lines in the tickle file let's go back here so in case if you see here i told this analyze is going to analyze your file this elaborate is going to elaborate your design but this check curve line you should give before that because this is a separate app you should be uh, giving before this analyze line in order the tool to understand that we are uh, expecting coverage tool coverage analysis to be done so in the coverage analysis we are just writing uh, check cow in it type all model all I'll explain you in a few minutes later what is these things in the formal tool uh, but for now we will be using these things and then apart from that we also need to use uh, another one uh, line at the end of the uh, coverage and end of the tickle file which is like check cow measure uh, type you can give either all like previous one we can here also we can give all or we can specify uh, what are all the types of coverages i'm expecting like coy stimuli proof bound these things i'm expecting and then we need to set some time limit time limit maybe 60 second 120 second if your design is bigger design then you can give 12 hours 14 hours something like that and uh, we want this to run in the background so we are giving an off hyphen bg so that's all we need in the tickle file. Let's save this and uh, we will be going here and running as usual. We will run using this. So when we run, this has been run. So in case if uh, in general Jasper Gold tool will pop up a window asking whether you want to open the coverage analysis tool, uh, you can click there OK. If not, go through here click this coverage and we are able to see it is having a hundred percent coverage in general we don't need to consider this uh, tb file uh, coverages uh, let me come back here and uh, change the tb properties let's cancel out few things for example i use these reusable properties here right let's comment this out star we don't need it until here star slash let's save this and we'll come back here and we will rerun this you will be able to observe that the few areas are not covered i told this tb file is not needed the reason is we are interested in knowing what signals are not being hit in the design file, not in the TB file. Uh, so we can wave this off. If you want to write some command or private tag, you can use this. I'll just save it for now. And uh, in case if you go here and double tap this or click like uh, right click this and then give branch analysis or statement or analysis, this window will open. If you want to go back there, here in the below, there is an option called summary it will go there if you click detail it will come here so here you will be able to see there are multiple different types of coverages so this is called models i was uh, telling here right in the tickle file so you will be having in the tickle file something called model so in this model i just gave all so all these things are coming in case if you are interested specifically in just a toggle or expression or statement then you can give that that alone will be coming uh, the procedure how to do that is you need to use in between this curly braces then it will come so for now let it be there uh, okay 
so here uh, we can observe that what it is telling means it is you can go which place it's not covered we will be able to observe here if you click this it is telling uh, this assign finished equal to current state is s3 one tick b1 one tick b0 this is not covered like that it is telling and then statement also pointing out to the same line uh, in expression it's covered and then toggle uh, toggle also stating to this finished thing is not covered like that it is telling i cannot toggle it like that it is telling so let's come back here to our uh, summary page uh, so we are observing that finished is not getting covered uh, let's come back to our sva file let's figure out what is the reason for finished is not getting covered so in case if you see here there is no assertion is relating to finished state and uh, technically we don't have uh, any assertion specific towards uh, a b c d also but the reason this a b c d is getting covered is because of this assume statement because we have an assume statement here which is triggering a b c d and making it to cover uh, let me come back to that point a, a little later but for now uh, let's make this statement true we can uh, we will cancel out this and we have a finished statement properties here so let's rerun this we should be able to hit all the cover points because it is telling just the finished is not getting covered right so let's go back here and we are able to see let's wave this off because we don't need this as it is a, a db file so you are able to see that it's covering 94% uh, or it, it doesn't have any red which means it's all the things are getting covered uh, I'll explain you what is this black means this black is like a dead code uh so which is like uh, it's like dead code so you cannot go there or it's no use for us so whenever a code is uh, in a dead code state then it will show like in black and the checker is in yellow which means unprocessed or unchecked uh, we, we were not able to hit this default state because in uh, any of our uh, test bench condition we didn't specify uh, anything towards it so it's not able to hit and then here also we are saying this the same thing it's pointing out to this default statement because we cannot go there uh, that is a dead code other than that we don't have any any other thing so we are good let's come back here and uh, as I told you uh, let's now cancel out that assume statement and then we'll see what is happening so here we have that assume statement right let me comment this out commented this out and I am blocking this entire thing or let it be it's not a problem I wanted to show that ABC will not be able to get covered uh, it's getting covered so far because of that assume statement um, because if you go here right in formal property verification if you see this cover of assume statement see here it is it is hitting the a b c and d all the signals was it uh, it because it's been hit uh, we are not able to understand the tool was not able to understand that uh, uh, the a b c d is being uh, verified it or not so even if you check the even in a cover point then the coverage will be more uh, so this was the reason if we let's go here and see uh, let's comment this assume statement out we'll save this we'll rerun this let's see what's happening It's taking a little while. Uh, let it come. It's my bad. Did I save it or not? I need to check it. But anyway, 
give me a second oh okay the reason why it is now getting hit is i had written in this uh, svf file uh, these states and all i was i was propagating from state a this should happen this should happen like this so it was able to hit uh, let me comment this part also out the reason what i am trying to show you guys is like in case if you don't uh, have that assume statement it wouldn't have hit that's what i was trying to show you guys so the point why i was telling that is uh, remember that in case if you have a uh, like assume statement whatever you have in yesterday's point i told according to the formal tool all your assume properties are true and then uh, it will not try to disprove it so whenever you write a assume statement uh, predominantly we are covering it any wrong assume statement which you have will over constrain it and we will not even be able to find the bug also so remember that uh, so whenever you write assume statement don't make any mistakes uh, write a correct assume statement that is very very important and let's go to this branch thing here you can see the stimuli was able to hit if the stimuli is hit and the checker is not hit what it means is so when a stimuli is hit means the tool was able to cover this but the checker is like the assertion or assumption what we have these things was not able to hit the this condition but the tool wise it doesn't have any issue like that it is showing and then in stimuli the stimuli is black means then it is a dead code so we don't pro mostly take uh, that into consideration we can just wave this particular property alone uh, out we can just add into the waiver files and then we can add it at the end of the uh, in the tickle file itself so that is not a problem but whichever the stimuli is green and the checker is yellow or red means it's not able to reach that particular thing or we need to write assertion for that 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 is the meaning of it so remember that and uh, apart from that uh, nothing more in this part um, you were able to see that if we uncomment this entire thing then everything should work fine cool uh, this is today's session guys so uh, we learned how to use the coverage analysis and in case if you have any doubt about coverage analysis how to understand or how to know right here there is an option called help in the help if you go tickle command help you can click in this tickle command uh, where the tool is opening okay here i guess yeah uh, in this tickle let me close this and show it again so here if you click you can go to click this tickle command help it will open some page like this here whatever you want you can search because i previously searched about check cow it is coming up here so when you click check cow and hit it will show these many pages are having check cow where you want like that you it will ask you can click here so it is showing what are all the things i can use in check out in it i can use all this option it's check out clear i need to use like this and then measure i can use these like this it will show multiple things whichever we need particular property whatever we need then according to that we can uh, plug and play around this uh, that's all the tutorial or the idea of the goal of this today's class i hope you all understood and uh, in case if you have any doubts shoot me a message and uh, i am happy to answer those questions thanks thank you guys and uh, day 5 is done uh, let's meet tomorrow with a different design uh, we will be learning about scoreboard tomorrow how to use that and uh, for that we will be using a buffer or some other uh, logics let's go and explore those things bye have a good day